What's up guys, Blackwater Japan here, working on the first gen GS300 today. It is off the ground, so disregard that wheel gap. What are we doing today? <laughs> Putting coils on. Installing the coilovers that we got. These coilovers are from a Supra or a SC300. I don't know if you can really see that. But yeah, these coils should work no problem. First things first, take off the wheels. Alright, so first things first. Since the car and the wheels are already off, we're going to do the rears first. Uh, I think the rears will be much more simple than the front. Um, there is one bolt right here on this, this, this uh, truck. Can you see it? Uh, this is the main bolt. Yeah. You're like sideways. Right now. <laughs> so this bolt right here comes off and then this will be loose. And then we have to go to the top and undo the three bolts on top. So you pull this back and then you can see the three bolts right here. Hopefully these fit. This might just fall afterwards. <laughs> so we'll see. There's that side. One more bolt. There we go. Cool. Okay, so now that the rear struts are completely loose, they should come off. All right, so with some wiggling and some moving and putting all our body weight on that hub, be able to get this hey. bitch out. So this is number one. That thing is fucking long. <laughs> Holy huh. shit. That's, that's like, kind of a big difference. That's like however long, two inch drop. Okay. Did it go? Oh. <laughs> it's, it's so low. We're it's gonna like have to not like, even in there. Yeah, we're gonna have to. You want me to go to the top? All right, so now we're reinstalling the coils. So we got these coils used from a friend for pretty cheap. So we're basically just gonna kind of throw them in and then hope that it's not too low mm -hmm. because we don't want to be like crazy low in this. This is our daily driver. So we used the jack to make the gap between the top hat and where the bolts go in easier on us because these are pretty freaking low. We're probably gonna have to adjust these because of how low they are. But we used the jack just to clear up that space and this is the first strut that's in. Pretty pretty simple. So you see the top hat back here. Now we're just kind of throwing the bolts on top. We don't want to tighten anything yet. Quite yet. Kind of got to do it all at once. And then we'll swap over to the other side and get the other old strut out on this and then put the new one in and then we'll zip everything. So right now Shelby is cleaning off the threads because this these have been sitting for a while, so they just kind of got some surface rust. We got the strut out. Took a lot of people standing on this thing and trying to yank this bitch out. These things are fucking long as hell. <laughs> so cleaning these threads up and then we're gonna put this one back in. And then we're gonna move to the fronts. 
Alright, so both rears are in, and as you can see, they are from a JZ A80 Supra or a JZ Z30 SC300 or SC400 for the sword or whatever. And these fit no problem in the rear so far on a first gen GS. Okay, so we just dropped the sway bar to get to this bottom bolt right here. We pretty much just took off these, uh, I was gonna take off the whole end link and everything, but my buddy recommended that I just drop the two attachments right here that go for the sway bar. So it's just two 12s right here, two 12s right here, and then it just kind of sways back and forth like a sway bar. And then now we should be able to access that bolt right there. We'll take these out and then we'll go to the top, loosen the top, and then try to figure out how to drop these bitches. So yeah. So I just took out the bottom um, bolt right here. So it's a 19 millimeter on this side and a 19 millimeter on that side. So basically you just break it loose and then pull the bolt out. Really, really simple, just did both sides. I missed filming it just cause I'm more doing than filming. And uh, she's trying to learn kind of too. So she's got her hands in there. So it's kind of hard to film, but. So now we're gonna go back down and uh, film Brandon working on his car. <laughs> Just went so, down. I don't know if we should leave them on. Going to the other side. I don't even know where it went. I'll find it. Yeah. Alright, guys, so these are the fronts. We got the other side out already. I just want to make sure I was doing anything right before I started filming. So, basically, what we did was we dropped the in link on this, which is just one bolt uh, down here at the bottom. And then there's another bolt for this right here. This is the easiest way to go about these coilovers in my opinion. And then right here, we just need to loosen this off. And, and then we'll basically be taking this bolt off and then the whole bracket will come out, making the whole, the whole strut come out. And then we can just put the bracket back on and then put the coilover back in. Just move like this that and then this whole strip is out. Bada bing! <laughs> and then you can see this bracket just to hold the strut in and the sway bar and whatever else goes on this. So basically we'll put this bracket back on and then we should be able to put the coilover in without having this off since the coilover is way smaller than that. Everybody's got their cars out working on them today. Got the Slam CRV S14 Kuki. That's a customer's FRS, I think. We also have some more options. Speed 6, not a Speed 6, Mazda 6. Or Mazda 3, I don't even fucking know to be honest. And an E30. It's gonna have to line up like really good or else it's gonna not wanna go through. We can kinda tap it with a hammer if we're pretty close. Lift it a little bit. Yeah, see how? Wait. Did it go? Almost. Keep pushing. There you go. There you hey. go. Okay. Bottoms in. Yay. Sick. Mm -hmm. Not too hard, right? No. You are just kind of heavy. Yeah, it's suspension. Suspension's heavy. She's just trying to line up the bottom in that bracket down there. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe it's just because I'm from down here. There you go. Push it through, push it. There. Swag. Soon. Okay, so we got the top cap bolts in, we got the sway bar. Uh, in links back in one of them on the pack passenger side was kind of a bitch to line up through the Brackets hole. It was kind of bent a little bit. So we had to play with that for a little bit But now it's time to move this out of the way tighten these main bolts on the bottom and then just put the sway bar back on and the wheels on and we're pretty much good to go. So Yeah Cool so, coils are all in we are tightening the wheels and they're gonna drop it on the ground and see how low it is It's probably gonna be too low But I don't think we're gonna make any adjustments tonight unless it's like literally not drivable, but it should be drivable Truth. 
I know. Is this car going to be too low to drive? <laughs> Probably is the answer. I don't think so. I think it'll be just fine. You think so? Let's hope. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> you might need blocks to get it off the ground. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. It, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. That back's tough though. You need to lower the front more. Yeah, the front needs to be a little bit more low. But that doesn't look too bad. Back perfect. Alright guys. Um, hope you like this video. The GS is officially slammed. <laughs> I'm spraying her off, getting her wet, if you know what I mean. It's pretty easy to do. You don't really need too much special fancy tools to do a coilover install on really any car. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'm sure Shelby's happy with her car. Oh man, you can really see the purple right here. Ooh, shining. So yeah, we got this car for dirt cheap, as some of you may know. So we're just kind of trying to have some fun with it and make it a cool daily. She might slide it a little bit, but we'll have to see. So thanks again for watching, guys. Peace out.